Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Boomi World 2018. Brought to you by Dell Boomi. Good evening, welcome back to theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin, live from Las Vegas at Boomi World 18. Been here all day talking with Dell Technology CEO Michael Dell, to Dell Boomi execs, customers. We're joined by a couple of gentlemen now. Uh, one is a customer of Dell Boomi. That's Peter DeLong from Digital Angel, the CEO and co-founder. Welcome. Thank you. And Mike Veldhaus, co-founder of Nalta, which is their transformation partner. Guys, thanks so much for joining me on theCUBE this afternoon. You're welcome. You're welcome. So Thank I you. first saw you this morning on stage, saw you accepting your award. This, this was, uh, Del Bumi's first time honoring and recognizing customers, so congratulations on being the winner of the Emerging Technology Award. But let's start by just giving our viewers an, an idea of, uh, we'll start, Mike, with you, Nalta, as a Bumi partner. Yep. Um, tell us a little bit about Nalta. What do you guys do? What makes you unique? Um, where are you based? Well, first of all, we're from Holland. You know, so for us it's great to be in Vegas, great to be in the US, and tell our story over here. Um, we started in, in uh, the Netherlands uh, in 2000. Um, we're not a very big company compared to uh, many large US companies. We're a, 60, a team of 60 people. And uh, we started as an infrastructure company in 2000, already a Dell partner. Um, and uh, we had a software department as well, a software company. And what's so cool about IoT and the stuff we built nowadays is that we combine those two disciplines into great IoT platforms like we did for Digital Angel. So let's talk about Digital Angel. Thank you, Mike. First of all, I love the name. There's a lot of significance to that. Um, we talked about award winner for Del Bumi. Tell us a little bit about Digital Angel. What was the genesis of creating it not so long ago? Well, um, the thir first thing was, if you look at uh, what's happening within healthcare, uh, one thing that's really important is uh, getting the qualified caregivers, because there's a big shortage on that. Next to that, if you, if you look at the development of the baby boomers, so the, the older or the seniors are, the, the group is growing, uh, and on the other hand, the caregivers are uh, uh, less available. So. How can we match that? So we need new technology. So the first question was, or the main question, can we connect smart healthcare products to the, uh, to the internet? And maybe with, uh, with those products we can help uh, uh, the healthcare sector. Give me an example of some of those products that you're talking about. The first product we have connected uh, to our platform is uh, a smart mattress. A smart mattress. Yeah, and it's embedded with, with uh, light sensors, and uh, it measures, for example, uh, the way a person lies on a, on a mattress, uh, but it also measures uh, uh, the heartbeats, breathing rates, all those data for arrivals. Wow, that's pretty cool, smart yeah. mattress. So you had this idea, really kind of n nothing in the Netherlands or even here in the US at the time, but healthcare is one of those industries that obviously we're talking about life and death situations. There are so many devices that are not connected and people can lose their lives as a result. So walk us through this, this concept of a smart mattress and how you're working with manufacturers to build that and then we'll get to how you're working on transforming with Nalta. Yeah, no problem. Well, um, um, uh, starting off from the, the question, can we connect? Yes, we can, but next to the fact is that we need a platform to land all the data in. Uh, uh, we need uh, customers like manufacturers because they want must produce products that are able to generate uh, data. Um, uh, so the first one was uh, 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 the mattress, the next one uh, is a bed, uh, a wheelchair, so we already have uh, several pro products live within a POC situation. And um, uh, that's where we uh, got off, yeah. So Mike, talk to us about when you first started engaging with Digital Angel, this mm -hmm. uh, presumably unique opportunity to really transform an industry, save lives. Talk to us a little bit about when you guys got together to really take this idea and, and really help it grow and help transform an industry. Now, first of all, for us, it's, it's wonderful to, to work on such a use case. Like you said, you're, you're potentially saving lives. And IT sometimes is so IT-ish. You're talking about 
technology, tools, applications, um, technicians, engineers, it's all on that IT level. And that's perfectly fine. They're solving problems and challenges. But talking about a business case or business itself is so energizing because you can actually tap into a customer's need and help them find solutions and challenges and uh, solutions for the challenges they have. And in this case, we're talking about IoT, Internet of Things, which is a little vague. Digital transformation is even vaguer. Right. Um, so when Digital Angel approached us with this, on first sight, very simple need, we want to connect a mattress or a device to a platform to present the data and the insights of this device to the end customer in favor of the patient. It's our job to start questions, questioning and listen and put it on paper, write user stories, um, get a clear picture of what the actual need is. And then from that, we build a, a first project and a first product and eventually the first platform. <laughs> Uh, and that became the Digital Angel platform itself. So and you've done this in a very short period of time. True. Uh, yeah. I think the. 18 months? Um, no, no, no. It was faster. The, the first faster. Uh, version was uh, within seven months. Wow, seven and months. It, yeah, and that, that's the beauty. If, if, you, if you can cooperate with, with people with, with knowledge, like, like Nalta in a partnership, but also uh, the availability of, of components like Del Boomi. Yeah. So you can fasten up the process to create new things and that's really important uh, important uh, to get much further and get things done. So let's unpack that a little bit more, Del Boomi's platform as kind of a, a fuel or maybe some, some power to your platform. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about the integration, how you're using it specifically and, and what some of the new things that they announced this week, yeah. um, how does that excite you about being able to grow your business? Well, the thing is, and that's what Mike explained, is listen to the needs. So we have needs as a company, that's to Angel, ne uh, next to the th fact is, is that patients also have needs. And how can we translate that into technology? So the question we asked Mike, or Nalta, we must have uh, a, a platform that's able to be completely flexible. So that's the basic. It must be able to do uh, the analytics if necessary. It must. So there's a long list of things we have to have within the platform, and then it's Nalta who is answering that question. Yeah, we translate it into a Boomi solution, and I think what's innovative. And we could, we just came out of a breakout session, and one of the questions we got, we were telling the digital angel story and our story, how we work with customers. Um, where does Boomi fit in? Does it come at last? What is the reason you put Boomi into the solution? Just for moving data from point A to point B? And the answer to that is that we have Boomi at the core of the design itself. So we start with Boomi. It's okay. not an afterthought. It's not no. that we have a solution, an application, and now all of a sudden we have to tie it into a different ecosystem. We start with Boomi. And that's very powerful because we have all the time and flexibility to choose best of breed solutions around this Boomi solution. And that's what we've done. So looking at this unique opportunity to be able to transform average everyday hospital products into smart devices that can actually influence the pace of care, the treatment of care, innovation, that's Pretty remarkable. I'd love to understand, Peter, from your perspective, what are some of the of the actual results that you're starting to see maybe in the Netherlands? And you mentioned, I think, before we yeah. went live that you're starting to come over here. Give us some of those tangible nuggets that you're like, this is why we're doing this, this is why we're helping these organizations well, it, connect. Uh, by having the platform and connecting all those products, you have to know uh, uh, several things. So uh, uh, when you are visiting healthcare uh, institutes, uh, one of the things is, uh, or uh, we are using an average of 165 apps already. So we need another one. Uh, we already use IoT related products. So we, okay, so I'm busy with a patient and I have to swipe from the one app to the other to get my information. 
but the thing I see is single information because I can see the blood pressure or the heartbeat or something like that. So if it's possible, can we combine that? So in the back end, we can combine all the data of the different products and it enables us, not only in the back end, but also in the front end to have one user interface. So we don't need all the 165 apps. So we are creating time. Creating time? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> That's really interesting. And uh, with that time, as a caregiver, because we know there's a shortage on caregivers, the right care at the right moment to the right person is can, can be given. And that's that's one of the goals uh, we have and, and can already uh, see as a result. Uh, we can also calculate a saving. But the most important thing for us as the company, we want to improve the quality of life and uh, not so much talk about savings. So I, I, one of them is, uh, we've, the first digital product we've created based on the data um, saves $6,000 uh, a year for one digital product for one patient. So that's in numbers. Uh, that, that's a result. That's re a real result. Well, I, I love, I've never heard anybody talk about um, a, a business outcome as creating time. <laughs> but in healthcare, it's, we've talked about that a number of times, it's essential. So last question, Peter, for you. You mentioned expanding to the U.S. because one of the things that I find shocking in 2018, almost 2019, is you have a, a loved one who's in the hospital and there are so many people that come in to do rounds and they That's all protocol. have devices and they're, nothing's connected. How, how are you going to help us in the U.S. to chat to resolve that problem with Digital Angel? I can, I can answer that w with another example. Uh, one of the things was, if you, you are, we are able to see how a person lies on his bed. And the Care Institute has a protocol, and the protocol says, you have to turn these patients each and every three hours. What we did know, in total, 30 to 50% of the people turn around themselves during the night. So you don't have to turn them. Interesting. Even if you turn them, the chance, or for example, pressure source, is much higher. Really? Yeah, 30 to 50 percent. Wow. All of this by evaluating data. Well, gentlemen, um, I wish we had more time. It's such an interesting use case. Peter, congratulations on the award. Thank you Mike, very much. you as well. Thanks so much for stopping by the Cube and talking to us about what you, how you guys are helping to transform an industry. Thank you very much thank for you. the opportunity. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin. Stick around, John Furrier, and I will be back with our show wrap in just a short minute.